先生致辞。正是因为中美之间的交流和互动太过的密切，这也是我们为什么今天能够汇聚于此。特别是随着整个技术的快速的。到来颠覆它对于各行各业的发展和运行的模式都产生了极大的影响，特别是在整个非常全球化、快速融合的金融领域，我们在这里在这样的一个时点之下举办这样的一个对话，是让我们的中西方的所有的合作伙伴在同一个问题上能够聚焦我们的认知，能够看看我们能够产生什么样的内容协同，以及我们可以在哪些地方寻找新的合作的方式。That's why we're gathering here today. We do face a lot of uncertainties now in the globe. One of the key sponsors of this um, event is the Barrel Consulting Group from the United States. Since its inception in 2004, Barrel has been committed to incorporating this highly transparent investment concept into the investment process, seeking viable investment opportunities for investors and obtaining considerable risk-adjusted returns. So what insight will Barrett Consulting Group have for this conference? Now let's welcome Mr. Vedat Rodanich, the CEO of Barrett Consulting Group, to give us a speech. Welcome. Hi, good afternoon everybody. Helen, thank you very much for the introduction. Um, I guess she said everything about us, now I can leave. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to welcome everybody. And this is such an exciting place, Beijing. So there's a saying, all roads lead to Rome, but it seems to me now these days all roads are leading to Beijing. So we're here. So how do we get here? In November 2018, about eight months ago, we had the privilege to have Eric and Alan and uh, Cecilia coming to New York City to join us with the conference, the Beverly's conference. And uh, the conference was mostly discussing alternative data. So obviously, Gdcom was there on behalf of, I would say, China to discuss alternative data. And Eric was one of the speakers. And we decided to do something very similar here in Beijing to not to kind of replicate what we have done in uh, New York City, but to make it even, even more exciting. So this conference is going to be about alternative data. It's going to be about alternative investments, because obviously one needs to bring allocators. So when somebody brings allocators, that's where you bring managers. When you bring managers, you bring data providers. So we want to also discuss geopolitics. Uh, we have amazing people here, uh, experts on geopolitics, economists. We will have an amazing event. We will have 30 panels. Eight will be on investment management, five on alternative data slash fintech. We have about 63 speakers, to be correct, here. Investable assets, assets under management. How do we get this figure in US $3 trillion? Because of the banks, asset managers, etc. When we combine all these assets, it exceeds $3 trillion, which is very significant. So who is going to participate? We're going to have allocators, investor managers, bankers, data scientists, economists, ratings and indices providers, technologists, attorneys, journalists, authors, artists, and visionaries. Talking about artists, we're going to have a nice show here in the evening from 7 to 9, so I encourage everybody to stay, and I think we will be expecting many more people to come as well. So these are some statistics that speak for themselves, what we have accomplished doing this with uh, Ginicom, which has been an amazing partner. We're looking forward to do these conferences with Eric and the team for a long time, uh, both in New York City and also in, in Beijing. So, what's Barrel Consulting Group? I will not dwell too much on Barrel. Helen made a nice introduction. So we started in 2004, where we work from uh, New York and uh, New Jersey. We mostly create multi-manager programs across different asset classes, investment strategies. And the key component and key characteristic of Barrel Consulting is transparency. What Barrel is signifies the, uh, the gemstone, which is transparent. So we want managers to be transparent. We want uh, also investors to be transparent as well. So that's, that's the key component of what we do. We provide managers to diligence to portfolio construction. That's pretty much allocation. We allocate money to managers, to cash flow managers mostly. We also started to do alternative data evaluation a few years ago. 
and we've been in real estate investing for some time as well. So we've been in business for 15 years, and uh, in these 15 years, we've been navigating a wide area of market conditions and business cycles. So I'm going to share some tips that we have learned in the last uh, 15 years. We call it 15 tips from, from Barrow. So how to successfully navigate the new investment universe. One of the key challenges for investors is the art of asking questions. You have to be able to ask questions. We will have Ama here that will, and, and Kaya, the associations, they're actually putting together these questions, but we have developed our own questionnaire as well, obviously. So one of the questions is how scalable is the investment strategy and due diligence process? Can the market absorb this incremental capital that's coming in to these hedge fund managers? So these are the things that are really one of the things that you ask at the beginning. Uh, obviously, managers edge in any other business. You always ask what's the, what's the competitive edge of the company. Meeting managers is obviously uh, crucial. However, before you meet somebody, you have to do due diligence. You have to screen people, etc., etc., so you know who you're going to talk to. So equally important. Another tip is investing primarily on the basis of a funds record is very, very inadequate and dangerous. So. You know, obviously that's something that we will never do. We also all want to know what's under the hood. So in other words, the Federal Reserve Bank, um, which is US, has basically created an artificial market. So in the last eight years or so, nine years or so, uh, we've been having a very difficult market, and that's why hedge funds uh, have been, not been really performing. Uh, they've been underperforming indices because of the artificial market. So this is something that we have to ask very good questions when we talk to the, to the managers. Uh, competing managers define both leverage and risk differently. So we have to be aware if there's a mismatch what investors are, are looking for and what managers can deliver. So if there's a mismatch of liquidity terms, that's something that we want to you know, avoid and we basically pass on. It's very essential for fund managers to take a disciplined, systematic approach to investment and risk management. Transparency, again, is the key. Transparency, transparency, that's what we stand for. So prior to investing, investors must determine their own comfort level. Now, a manager may appear to have a diverse portfolio, but in fact, the portfolio may be full of very correlated traits. So we have to know what's inside that portfolio. What conditions would create a perfect storm? We need to talk about fat tail events. What's fat tail events? Something that is unexpected, black swan events. So, that's why this conference is very important. We're looking at alternative data, we're looking at geopolitics, we're looking at alternative investments. So we are creating the content that encompasses all these things. It's going to be a fascinating conference. Managing due diligence is obviously a highly interactive process. It's very interesting. It's like a plain detective. Okay? You're basically sitting in front of the manager and you're trying to figure out how he feels. What is his characteristic? It's not only how smart he is, but also is he a uh, honest person. Approach the due diligence process with an open mind and attitude of respect. So obviously we can be in love with the manager in terms of his intellect, but we always should have a healthy dose of skepticism because we just, you just never know. Quantitative analysis can help shed new lights on investment strategy but should be evaluated within the context of quality judgment, risk management, and the history of funds. Only consider funds that possess strong infrastructure and operations. So this is so-called operational due diligence. So not only that we have to analyze managers on investment due diligence, but also in operational due diligence. So we have to make sure who is the prime broker, who is the administrator. We need to have non-conflicting eyes to look at the assets uh, under management. Uh, <clears throat> we always need to be comfortable with this partner. So the question is, are we really prepared for that partnership? Can we really invest with that manager and we feel comfortable 100% with the manager? So the best investors are those who have developed interpersonal skills, so people who are actually can talk to people, to each other, and in-depth understanding of alternative data. You don't need to wait like in the past. You have to wait every three months to figure out what the company is going to announce. Alternative data is going to provide almost a real-time indicator if the company is a good buy or you should go short of it. So alternative data is something that is becoming more and more important in the last four or five years. Emerging technology, geopolitics, and the mechanics of the capital markets. So we really need to understand everything about capital markets. So the best investors are those who have developed interpersonal skills, 
an in-depth understanding of alternative data, emerging technology, geopolitics, and the mechanics of capital markets. That's our guiding tenet. I welcome you all to the conference and hope you will enjoy it and meet amazing people and learn a lot. Thank you very much.